last week, the US Army picked a new tank design for its mobile protected firepower vehicle. When it enters service around 2025, it will mark 45 years since the last US tank to enter service, the venerable Abrams tank. But unlike the heavy Abrams, the MPF is a light tank, it is made by General Dynamics Land Systems and is based on their Griffin vehicle. A technology demonstrator was unveiled in 2016 and a year later the Mobile Protected Firepower program was launched. The version offered to the US Army, one which won the contract, has a scaled-down 105mm main gun. It's a low-recoil rifled gun which suits the purpose of the tank well. Such guns are not there to engage enemy tanks, but to serve as firepower support to army units. Coaxial machine gun is the 7.62mm gun, while another machine gun, the 12.7mm one, can be mounted on top of the turret. The tank comes with thermal sights for both the gunner and commander. The latter was actually not in the US Army's requirements, but the manufacturer threw that in as well anyway. Its weight clocks in at 38 short tons, which is little under 35 metric tons, though that's the prototype's weight. In US Army service, and especially if bigger applique armor modules are used, that figure might rise. The manufacturer used the Abrams tank turret as the foundation, but the MPF's turret has an aluminium base, to which spaced armor and additional applique armor modules are fitted. While offering some armored protection, the tank is not really designed to deal with high-caliber threats such as guided anti-tank missiles or high-velocity rounds from enemy tanks. One of the big selling points of the winning Griffin vehicle is the commonality with Abrams tanks. Allegedly, Abrams tank crews would need little time retraining to the light tank, as the tank's subsystems were designed to be very similar to the Abrams. The new tank also has a crew of four, which means it uses manual loading instead of an autoloader. The main role of the tank, as mentioned, will be to go alongside the infantry in the US infantry brigades and offer direct firepower engage bunkers, buildings and other fortified targets, as well as various vehicles, as long as they're not enemy main battle tanks. Ever since the end of the Cold War, regular infantry brigades in the US Army did not have any tank fire support. They would drive around in their Humvees and rely on machine guns, 40mm grenades and guided anti-tank missiles. The addition of this new tank will greatly improve their direct firepower. The production plan calls for 504 tanks, ultimately, to be produced by mid-2030s. The recent contract for up to 96 vehicles is just one of several contracts to come. Subsequent contracts should yield a little bit cheaper tanks, as the US Army has budgeted roughly 5 billion for procurement of 504 vehicles. As the vehicle development is mostly complete, first tanks will get delivered by early 2024, and the first army unit fielding them in numbers should happen by 2025. A company worth of tanks is planned to be assigned to an infantry brigade, if needed. So the tank will not really even serve directly alongside Abrams tanks, let alone replace them. Abrams tanks serve in separate armored brigade units. The commonality goes only so far, though. A small logistical footprint is important, so the MPF tank uses a diesel engine, which happens to be placed in front of the vehicle that might result in greater protection for the crew. Such layout was also the result of the US Army program to procure a new infantry fighting vehicle, replacing the Bradley vehicle. A sibling of the Griffin tank is in the competition for a said program. That also explains the very low development cost, as much of the vehicle development was already paid for. One of the big benefits the US Army sees is mobility. Both tactical, as a tracked vehicle will have good off-road capability, and strategic. Due to its tonnage, one C-17 transport plane will be able to carry two MPF tanks, and ships will also be able to carry more vehicles, compared to Abrams tanks. Lower weight and diesel engine also mean much less fuel needed. Logistics battalions will be thankful for that. A neat system used on the MPF is an acoustic gunshot detection system, which will enable the tank to return fire quickly and precisely. It's possible that in the years to come, the MPF tank will also reach other units, for example, the Marines might decide they need some kind of a tank after all, or the Army striker brigades will get retooled in the future and not rely on just striker vehicles. The MPF tank may have a bright future, given the Army's return to the Cold War fighting doctrine and somewhat greater likelihood of mass land battles. And it is expected to receive an official name from the Army this fall.